it's time to get some supplies. This is the stuff I'm looking for. 60% vodka. I'll take two. I guess you're wondering why vodka and why 60% vodka. You see, I have the alcohol stove. This is the alcohol stove that I'm talking about. I'll tell you more in just a second. And of course I should use some fuel. That will be most efficient. But you see, I can't take any kind of fuel on the airplane. I've already tried negotiating with an airline company to make an exception and let me take some fuel on board, but uh, you can imagine that didn't go very well. So the highest content of alcohol that they allow on board is 70%. So 60 is pretty good compromise, I guess. And if the weather is not too cold, well, it even burns quite well too. This tiny stove is amazing. Anyone can make it for the cost of a tuna fish can and it weighs absolutely nothing. It weighs like 18 grams. And all you have to do is take a, an empty tuna fish can, uh, drill holes around so that the flames and the air can come in. And that's it. You pour the fuel and you light it up and cook your dinner. Now let's take a look at the food that I take with me. My approach is that I buy all the ingredients and then make the meals myself. That way I know exactly what's in each meal and I know that I like them. I have a separate sheet for food where I divide food into three meals, into breakfasts, snacks and dinners. And I'm aiming for about 1000 kilocalories per meal. Now I know that this is not sufficient in the long run but I am also counting on my body fat reserves to get all of the extra energy that I need that I'm not getting from the food. I store each meal into one of these half liter Ziploc bags. And the idea is that one meal would fit into the pot that I'm using for cooking. Once I know how much I'm taking and what I'm taking, then the process is basically really, really simple. I just fill the Ziploc bags with the food and that's it. Here are three meals for one day and here is all the food that I have taken with me on the trip. As far as food is concerned there are only a few things that I really pay attention to. One of them is that I try to take a lot of food with fats so nuts and seeds they contain a lot of fats and, and protein which is really good. Then one of the things that I try to avoid is sugary content so you know i don't take chocolate or i don't take any simple sugars with me so raisins are probably the sweetest thing that i take with me sugar creates these unnecessary spikes which can only cause trouble 